With every home run swing, touchdown scored, and hurdle jumped, Seminole athletes are making history every day. Recently, nine former Noles were recognized for their hard work on and off the field by being inducted into the FSU Athletics Hall of Fame. Athletes like Frank Fazzini, Pat Carter, Tay Cody, Brandy Stewart, and more were honored for their dedication and passion to their teams and to the Seminole tradition. When I first got the phone call back in May uh, uh, from Coach Martin, who, who was my coach back there, he, he was coaching me. And uh, you know, he said what kind of event it was, how big it was, and the big deal that they make out of it. And most of the guys and women who are in here play, you know, played in the uh, professional sports. So to be side by side with them is just an honor. I'm just, I'm just elated. Bazzini came all the way from New Jersey to be a part of the legendary baseball program. He left as one of the all-time greatest players in FSU history. As an outfielder, Fazzini was a three-year starter for Florida State, earning All-America honors all three years. His 79 career home runs rank second all-time in FSU history, truly making his career at Florida State a home run. Another Seminole who knocked it out of the ballpark was softball player Brandy Stewart. Stewart was an All-ACC selection and earned All-America honors while playing at Florida State from 2000 to 2003. Even after her time as a student was through, Stewart stayed on to give back to the program by working as an administrator in the athletic department. Stewart was thrilled to have the opportunity to pay homage to those who helped her get to where she is today. It's truly a humbling experience to be recognized for the efforts that you had in your respective field of play. Um, because when we're playing, we're not playing for the opportunity to be here one day. You're playing for other people, you're playing for the sport, you're playing for something bigger than yourself in the moment. It's a night to pay homage to them. Florida State football legend Pat Carter signed with the Seminoles in 1984. In 1987, Carter's senior year at FSU arguably began the Seminole football's dynasty era. That year, he and his teammates finished the season with an 11-1 record and a number two ranking in the final AP poll. The tight end went on to be selected in the 1988 NFL draft where he played 11 years. Carter had been playing football since he was about 10 years old, and he is excited about having another one of his childhood dreams come true. I'm looking at it from my perspective. It's really humbling that I've been thought of as highly enough to put my name next to Deion Sanders and Derrick Brooks and, and uh, all the greats. Tay Cody also touched down into Florida State's history by helping the Seminoles take on Virginia Tech in the 1999 National Championship and leading the Noles to a victory. Cody is regarded as one of the finest tacklers in FSU history and wanted to play in both the NFL and the CFL. It just officially makes me as family forever with this university. And um, I'm so proud of it and um, I'm just so humbled for the opportunity to be inducted into the Florida State Hall of Fame class of 2015. While most of the inductees were recognized for their efforts in stadiums like Doak, two Seminoles were noticed for their passion off the field and in the bleachers. My wife and I are, are being honored by to receive the Moore Stone Award, which is an award uh, named after two former professors at FSU who were very, very instrumental in developing the, the university after it became co-educational and also in developing the athletic program. Jim and Betty Lou Jonas are two of the biggest Seminole fans there are. Jim was in attendance at the first ever FSU game in 1947 and earned his diploma from Florida State in 1956. His wife was a member of the circus and went on to graduate and complete her PhD from FSU. Each of the proud Seminoles are listed as one of FSU's 100 distinguished graduates. Uh, we're very excited. This is the first time that a couple, a married couple, has ever received this award together. These outstanding FSU Athletics Hall of Fame inductees truly demonstrate how to live up to the unconquered Seminole legacy, both on the field and off. I'm Alyssa Perez, reporting for Seminole Sports Magazine.